Hey girl, hey! Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today I have a life hacks video for you guys. I'm gonna share with you 100 life hacks that every girl should know. Yes, 100 life hacks, which means this video is gonna take me ages to edit. I can already see it, but <laughs> I'm gonna get through it. And let me tell you guys, this video took so much longer to film than I originally thought. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Some of these life hacks, you've probably already seen them, and some of them will be new to you. This video is also a collaboration with Catherine May here on YouTube. She is also doing life hacks. I'm gonna link her video down below. She definitely deserves more subscribers, so go check her channel out. Go subscribe, tell her I sent you, and yeah. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, and also don't forget to subscribe for future videos. And let's get on to the video. I wrote all of my hacks down on paper because there was no way I was gonna remember these. So let's get on to it. Number one, heat up your eyelash curler with a hair dryer for an easier eyelash curl. Number two, if this has ever happened to you where you squirt your glue onto your eyelash and make a mess and pretty much ruin your eyelash, apply the eyelash glue onto your false eyelashes with a clean bobby pin and you will never have this happen to you again. Until a couple months ago, I was putting on my bobby pins wrong my entire life. It's actually supposed to face this way, not the other way. And also for a stronger hold, spray some hairspray on it. Number four. Set your eyeliner with black eyeshadow and you won't have it smudge easily again. Number five. Keep makeup removers next to your bed or on your drawer or somewhere next to you. That way you won't get too lazy to get up at night so you won't forget to wipe your makeup off. Number six. Hide a manicure that's growing out with glitter. Kind of to make a glitter ombre effect. It looks really cute and my nails are not necessarily grown out. And these are fake nails so it's not going to look as good. But believe me, it's a great hack. Number seven. If you're out of eyeliner, just use mascara. Number eight. Before I even found out about dry shampoo, I would just use baby powder on my hair and it does the exact same thing and it gives you more volume too. If you have dry feet, put a generous amount of lotion on your feet, put some socks on and sleep in them and you'll wake up with super soft baby feet. Number 10. Use a white eyeshadow on your lid to make the colors pop more. Highlight your lips to make them look bigger. I've used some shimmery highlighter that I'm using on my lips and it just instantly makes your lips look a little bit plumpier. So number 12 actually kind of goes back to number 1. If you don't have time to blow dry your eyelash curler, just stick it in your bra while you're doing the rest of your makeup and that's going to warm it up and once you apply it to your eyelashes, it's going to give you the perfect curl. Number 13, this is another baby powder hack. Dip your q-tip in baby powder, apply a coat of mascara, dip it again in baby powder, and so on and so on in between coats and it makes your lashes longer. Number 14, when you're going for a dramatic eyeliner wing, just draw it out and then color it in. Every time I do this, I get the perfect wing. Number 15, use concealer or foundation to cover lipstick mistakes. Number 16, use any kind of credit card or any card to apply mascara with no mess. Number 17, drying your hair with a t-shirt instead of a towel will prevent your hair getting frizzy and that is so true. I did this on accident once because I didn't have a towel and yeah, that's true and it also doesn't get as tangly. Number 18, wear glitter nail polish with glue as the base coat and it'll be easy to remove it later. All you'll have to do is just peel off the nail polish. Glitter nail polish is really hard to take off so this will make life way easier for you. Number 19 is also a nail hack. Put Vaseline or lip balm around your nails, around your cuticles before your manicure and it prevents a mess. Number 20, this is also a nail hack. Apply a white base for brighter nails. Number 21, usually you fall in love with a mascara because of the brush, not necessarily the product. So when you run out of your favorite mascara, save the brush and then you can use it later and it'll pretty much be the same thing. Number 22, rescue dry the mascara with a mug of hot water. This leads me to number 23. You could also save liner or any kind of pots like for your eyebrows and stuff like that by putting in hot water and it'll soften it up and bring it back to life. Number 24, to make your eyes seem more awake and more bright, just put some highlighter shimmer in the corner of your inner eyes and it will instantly brighten them. Number 25, apply your mascara sweeping towards your nose, not the side of your temple. This will give more of an open large eye. Number 26, I've seen this on the internet a lot and it's about wearing red lipstick under your eyes. This works differently for many shades, but I feel like this works way better on people with a darker complexion. Number 27, you can determine how wide you want your nose to look by your eyebrows. So if you put your eyebrows closer to each other, your nose is going to look slimmer. The wider apart your eyebrows are, the wider your nose is going to look. Number 28, know where to apply your perfume. Inside your wrist, so here's an example. Oh shoot, it went the wrong way. So inside your wrist, behind your ears, oh my god, that was a lot. Face of the throat, inside your elbow, and behind your knees. 
Number 29. If you run out of some kind of powder, like an eyeshadow or any kind of powder at all, put a coin in it and, and scrape out the edges. Number 30. Cut open tubes such as toothpaste, such as foundations, anything to get out the last drops that you have. You will usually find way more product in there than you think you originally had. Number 31. Put lemon juice onto sweat stains before you wash them and it will eliminate them. Number 32. If you ever run out of deodorant and you really need some kind of deodorant, use lemon and it will kill the smell. Number 33. Remove self tanning mistakes with baking soda and water. Number 34. Rub clear deodorant to prevent blisters. So rub it on your shoe wherever it rubs against you and it will prevent friction. Number 35. Keep nail polish in the fridge to avoid air bubbles. Number 36. Metallic sharpies are great for nail art. Number 37. Use an old mascara brush to apply some pigment on your eyebrows with some eyeshadow. Number 38. Give yourself a quick split end trim by twisting hair into a ponytail and then snip away the split ends that are sticking out. Number 39. Highlight your brows for an instant brown lift. Number 40. Fix a broken lipstick with a lighter, stick it back on and then put it in the fridge and then your lipstick will be like new. Number 41. Fix a broken eyeshadow with alcohol. Just put alcohol and then just squeeze it down and then eventually it will go back together. Number 42. Curl eyelashes and apply eyeliner in one. Now this only works from the inside of your eye but it is a good hack. Number 43. For the perfect lash curl, pinch at the lash base, hold it tightly and rotate your hand up. Number 44. Coconut oil makes for a nice natural makeup remover. Number 45. If you have a nail polish that's really dried up and you can't open it, tie a rubber band around it and it'll make for an easy grip and then you'll be able to open it. Number 46. If you don't have an iron and you're in a rush, just use your straightener to iron your shirt while it's on. Number 47. Use hair conditioner if you ran out of shaving cream. It works as good and it leaves your legs and your arms feeling super smooth. Number 48. I don't know how I lost this clip, but I know I lost it already because I was going through my clips. All you do is you paint a bobby pin, you put it in your hair and it's an instant hair accessory. Number 49. Make a really easy lip scrub by just using sugar and olive oil. Number 50. Spray perfume onto your hairbrush and it will leave your hair with a nice scent. Number 51, I do this all the time. Reuse an empty candle holder as a brush holder or a pen holder or etc. Number 52, if you want your nails to dry faster, put them in really, really cold water for about a minute or two and when you take them out, your nails are dry. Number 53, this is a little bit different and I've never tried it before. Use soda cans for big luscious waves if you have no other option. For a really easy tip manicure, all you have to do is tie a rubber band around your nail and it's as simple as that. Number 55, use eyeshadow and Vaseline or coconut oil, mix it together and you have an instant lipstick. Number 56, bake your makeup. Before I started baking my makeup, it would always get really oily or it would just not last as long. Once you start baking your concealer, life changes. Number 57, conceal your under eyes in a triangle shape instead of just like a half circle. It makes a big difference. Number 58, master the perfect pimple coverage with foundation, concealer after that, and then powder to seal it. Number 59, contour your cheeks, your forehead, etc. for a slimmer face. Number 60, contour your boobs for a larger appearance. Now I've never done this before and it's kind of odd, but yes, people do it and it works. 61, create soft waves or beach waves with salt and water. I've done this before many times. Number 62, for a perfect foundation match, don't test the product on your on your face, test it on your neck. Usually your neck is your real color and your face is exposed to sun and breakouts and all that. Number 63, it's very simple. I don't even need to show um, a demonstration. Use, if you're really oily, use matte bronzers, matte bronzers, matte, I said that twice, matte blushes and if you're more on the oily side, I guess, you know, use like vice versa. But yes, if you're really oily, Stick to matte. 64. Use black eyeshadow or brown, whatever hair color your hair is, to make your hair appear fuller. Number 65. I don't know about you guys, but when I try to switch my part, it always ends up bad and it just doesn't stay in place. It looks funny, like you can tell that I switched my part. So you have to wet it first, you part it, you wet it again, and then you dry it, and then that's when your part will look normal. Number 66. When you're taking out your mascara brush, you have to take it out at an angle. So take it out at an angle, put it back in at an angle to prevent air bubbles and bacteria. Number 67. Dip your candle wick. I don't know why, but I didn't know this before and I would just blow my candles out and then the whole smoke would come out and it would just ruin the whole smell and then the whole place smelled like smoke. So you're actually supposed to dip it and then that's when you get no smoke and it's just a perfect way to turn off your candle. Number 68. If you don't have time to wake up in the morning and pour dry shampoo or wash your hair or whatever, just put a hat on it and you're ready to go. Number 69. Red lipstick with nothing else. Okay, so if you're in a rush in the morning and you don't know what to do with your makeup but you want to look um, like you tried, 
what I usually do is I'll just dry my eyebrows on, apply a dark lipstick or like a vampy lip, you know, red or whatever. And it just makes it look like you tread more on your face just because it's so out there. I do it all the time. <laughs> Number 70, shower at night. It saves you a lot of time in the morning. Number 71, plan your outfit the day before. Well, the night before. I do this. I don't do this anymore, but when I was in school, I would do it all the time. Number 72. This goes back to 71. Okay, so number 72. I used to, when I was in school, I would shower the night before, and I wouldn't even go to sleep in my clothes that I was going to wear the next day. I know somebody did it out there. Somebody had to do it. I would do it all the time because I was way too lazy to get up in the morning and change. It was way too cold for that. Number 73. Roll your mascara over a tissue to avoid clumps on your eyelashes. Number 74. Use lotion for flyaway hairs or baby hairs. Number 75. Add Vaseline to your mascara to make it last longer. Number 76. Save your money from expensive blotting sheets and use coffee filters. They work just as fine. Number 77. Apply foundation to your lips to get a nicer finish with your lipstick to get a nicer and brighter finish. Number 78, to set lipstick or to make a lipstick matte that's not matte, put a tissue over your lips, set it on the outside with loose powder. Number 79, dark nail polish can stain your nails and make your nails look dirty. So to fix that, rub lemon and baking soda on your nails and it should get the stains right off. Number 80, put a dryer sheet on your brush for no static. Number 81, whiten your teeth with bananas. Well, the inside of a banana. Number 82, on dish to this is a mouthful. Dawn dish detergent helps to remove oil-based makeup from clothing. Number 83, shaving cream removes foundation from collared shirts. Number 84, clean your hairbrush with warm water and baking soda and it will leave it just like new. Number 85, use raw honey as a facial cleanser. If you have seen my skincare routine, you'll know that I wash my face with honey at times and you would think it's not really doing much, but believe me, it leaves your face. It's just... It works. Number 86. Use safety pins or push pens to separate your mascara after you applied it. This is a little bit dangerous, but I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who does this. 87. Use a toothbrush with hairspray to get down the little baby hairs and really slick down the little flyaways and stuff like that. Number 88. Use a band-aid to get really easy polka dots for a manicure. Number 89. Olive oil helps break down makeup in makeup brushes. So if you have nothing else to clean it with, just use some baby oil. Baby oil. You know what? I'm sure baby oil works too. Number 90. Use lip meant for dark spots such as your armpits, such as your elbows and stuff like that. I'm sure we all know about this and I'm sure we've all tried it. Number 91. This goes back to the whole perfume thing. Put Vaseline where your perfume usually goes and it'll just make it last longer throughout the day. Number 92. Dip your razor. Okay, so this one I found, it said dip your razor in vodka for longer wear. What I think they meant was if you don't have rubbing alcohol, you can dip it in vodka or tequila or whatever because it's alcohol. But I just like to clean my razor with rubbing alcohol and if you only have vodka, well guess what that will work too number 93 paint a loose button with a clear nail polish and it will prevent it from unraveling temporarily number 94 pour baking soda into your shoes after a workout or whatever or if your feet smell and it usually kills the smell 95 make your heels shiny again by applying some Windex or any kind of glass cleaner and then leaves them so shiny number 96 Number 96 sounds kind of gross, you guys, but if you just have freshly painted nails and you just like lick a mistake, like say you smudge it and you lick it, I think the warmth and the saliva, I don't know, it reacts to it and it smooths it out. <laughs> Number 97, put a tons on a painful ulcer and it will make the pain go away within a few hours. Number 98, shrink a pimple instantly with mouthwash. It will dry it and make it fade. Smiling naturally lifts the muscles in the face and slows down the rate at which we age. Number 100, last but not least, <laughs> cornstarch and a clear nail polish will turn your nails matte. Okay guys, so that is 100 life hacks. Oh my god, that was so much talking. I'm just gonna end it right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go check out Catherine May's video. I'm gonna link it down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!